Hey guys, Heather here from The Unraveled Men. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the tulip stitch. Don't you think this kind of looks a little bit like a corner to corner stitch worked in rows? Um, it's a, it's really easy to work and it's really easy to memorize because it's only a one row repeat and it makes its own really pretty scalloped border. So it's great for blanket projects or scarves or hats or pretty much anything, but um, for this swatch, I changed color after every two rows in it. It has a really pretty effect, but it also looks good in solid colors too. Now, before we do the tutorial, I just want to say that if you like tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notifications every time that I release a new video. So let's get going. You need, you're going to need to grab some yarn and a hook. Any yarn will do. I'm using a, um, it's Red Heart Soft, so it's just a worsted weight yarn and my 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need to chain a, a multiple of four. I'm going to do 16 chains. All right, 16 chains, just like magic. So to get started on the stitch, you, you're you going to um, double, double crochet in the third chain from your hook. Those two chains that we skipped are, they count as one double crochet. Then you're going to chain two. Single crochet in the next chain. Skip two chains and make two double crochets in the next chain. One and two. Then you'll chain two, single crochet in the next chain, and then you're just going to repeat that sequence across. So you'll repeat that two double crochet, chain two, single crochet in the next, all the way across your row. Skip two, two double crochets, chain two, single crochet in the next chain. And then when you get to the end, you'll just single crochet in the last stitch. And that's your row one, which is the setup row. Every row after this is going to be the same. So to start your next row, you will chain two, and then turn. And then in that first chain two space, you're going to make a double crochet, excuse me, two double crochets, a chain two, and a single crochet. So you're going to repeat that two double crochet, chain two, single crochet in each chain two space across your row. Two, 
two double crochet, chain two, single crochet all the way across. And that's it. That's the row that you will be repeating for the length of your project. See how it makes a little scallop there at the end? That um, helps form the, the border. That's what I like about this stitch because you don't have to put a border on it if you don't want to. So the next row you're just gonna chain two, turn, make two double crochets, chain two and a single crochet in each chain two space across, just like we did on row two. And that's it, easy peasy. If you want written instructions for this stitch, you can find them on my website. I will put the link below in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications.